Welcome along to the EBU Digital Radio stand. This is where we're demonstrating hybrid digital radio. And what hybrid means is that we're combining broadcast radio like FM or DAB or HD radio along with a seamless connection to the internet to create a richer integrated radio experience. What we've got here is a whole range of receivers, some of which are just picking up broadcast radio, but you'll also see we've got receivers here like the Sensia and some receivers which we'll show you in a second running on mobile phones, but you've got a much better radio experience because they're automatically connecting to the internet. The way they're getting that connection to the internet is through a project called Radio DNS, and what Radio DNS does is provide that important lookup between a radio station that's on the air and that radio station's presence on the internet. So let's have a look at what's happening on the phones. This is a standard Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 mini mobile phone running the Android platform. And this does have an FM radio inside it, but usually all that FM radio has is a very, very simple, relatively boring application, which just shows you FM radio. What you're seeing here is a special application that's been written by the team at Global Radio in the UK, which is using the Radio DNS principle to add in this rich visual information on top of FM radio. So the radio is still coming through FM, but everything else is coming over the internet. One of the real benefits of this over a traditional streaming application is that the data consumption is considerably lower. A normal streaming radio application will download about 27 megabytes of data an hour, and as people begin to get data caps on their mobile plans of 500 megabytes, that's going to uh, cause them to think twice about using an app to listen to the radio. Because this is only bringing the visual information over the internet, everything else is coming over FM, the data consumption is much lower, so people can listen for much, much longer without running the risk of running out of data and if they're interested in something they can just click on the screen and it'll open up the browser and take them straight into interaction. One of the other benefits of delivering this content over IP is you can measure it and you can begin to commercialize it in the same way that you commercialize other internet content. You can see page impressions, you can see click-throughs. It's not something that just runs on the Android platform. Over here, slightly to the left, we have uh, a Nokia phone. This is the Nokia N900 smartphone. And this is also running an application that's combining the FM radio in this handset along with the internet. It doesn't need to be FM. If the handset came out with DAB, this would work exactly the same way. Just to prove that it does run across all the platforms, what I have right over here on the left is a DAB radio. This is a iReva B20 MP3 player. And what you're seeing here is exactly the same experience, but delivered over DAB digital radio using the DAB slideshow protocol. So from a broadcaster point of view, you can create one set of content, you can publish it once, and it will work virtually the same either over DAB broadcast or if you use Radio DNS to send it over IP. If we just pan back a bit to look at the full range of receivers that we've got here. On the left hand side here, this is a, a pure sensia, and this is actually showing you live content from uh, Heart Radio in the UK. So this is going out over IP, but the audio is being picked up over DAB. If we go slightly over to the right, we have uh, a Chumbi, which is a small integrated appliance, it has an FM radio in it. Again, it's been very simple to write a piece of software that is picking up the visual information over IP, but it's using its FM radio coming over that little bit of wire to get the audio. And then finally over here on the right, you'll see we've got another sensor, which is showing our demonstration service here at the EBU. So this is the final bit of the chain that we're demonstrating, and this is a complete transmission platform. And the great thing about this transmission platform is in this one rack, for under 5,000 euro, we're generating an entire DAB digital radio multiplex and an FM radio station as well. It's all done in software. This is free and open source software that you can get from opendigitalradio.org. You can compile your own multiplexer, you can apply audio processing. In here is enough technology to create an entire multiplex with as many radio stations as you can fit into that 1.2 megabits a second. It's got an amplifier, it's got some filtering, and that's all going out to a small antenna that we've got on top of the booth. But it demonstrates that really there isn't a cost issue with creating digital radio. It's possible to create a platform from publishing through play out and transmission here and out onto devices like that very, very cost effectively.